I have been playing around a lot with ACF in the last few days, advanced custom fields. And I'm very happy I didn't say advanced custom fonts because lately everything becomes a font. <laughs> I've been playing around with ACF and I stumbled across something else included in the update this morning. The blog post did say 007007, but it turns out it's 007's brother from another mother, 008, and it's got a little few extra to it. One more extra feature, which is a post feature drawing the dynamic content from the WordPress site. And if all of this sounds like mumbo jumbo, let's clear it up in a very short while from now. We're going to be working with posts and I need you to make a few posts by yourself. I was working with the advanced custom fields and I've taken it out now to show it to you just like it is at this moment. There's a post with a title, some random text and then a featured image at the bottom. Right, so what you do now is you create a page. I created one called home page and then continue to edit with Brizzy. Once it opens, you add a building block and then delete the template. Or oh, you can keep it if you want. And now you go to the elements and you scroll all the way down and you see the new little feature here. Maybe none of you have even used this one, but look at this one, posts, drag it in. And when you drag it in, what does it do? It's a container again. And how am I going to style this? Am I going to put my post image one by one in here? This seems very strange and silly, right? But here is where Brizzy is going to allow you to take super control over your post list. We call this a list view. And I want you to also start remembering this word because when we work a lot with dynamic content and display, in a gallery fashion like this, we call it a post list. So think of this as a list view. Now, what we want, of course, is for each post to display by itself here, but we don't see that. We just see clones. And if we preview it, story gets better. It does exactly that. Here comes dynamic content. Let me show you. Let's go to the first one and you click on the image, click on the disks and you say featured image. Right. Now click in the text, highlight them all, delete, shift three, and say post title. And now let's give it a heading. We'll make it heading one or heading two. We center it, we give it a color. The other thing that you have to notice is that what I did here applied here. You cannot go and style these separately. They work together. They are connected. Let's see what happens now when we view it. Look at that. Do you see what I see? I think this is going to make a lot of people very happy. Your only problem that is going to come in now for expectations is that you see you cannot click on it. It will not open a single post for you. And that's why you have this button. And now you tell me, wait a minute, I need to go and collect the button every time. No, it cannot work like that because then your dynamic link is broken again. The button must be dynamic and Brizzy, they have thought about that. So click on the button, go to link and then you see there and you go to post URL. You can even say open in a new tab. Oh, let's do that. I'm going to update it because often with dynamic link, the updates don't run quickly or it's just the world of my computer. And now let's click on the button. There we go. Do you see what I see? Now you may say to me, but I like it. Though other people do it, it's very simple. The problem is with that is that it is confined to what that element allows you to do. With this element now, Look at the amount of styling options that you have. I can say in here, uh, post date, and I can go and style it. I can make it a subtitle and I can then italicize it, give it another funky color. We always go for pink so that you can see it. You can do again with this and style it the way you like. And this basically brings a lot of dynamic features 
right within Brizzy's domain. You don't even need those other plugins. And this is how this post list element works. It's called posts, but I would have preferred maybe post list because that's how we refer to it, especially when we work with this kind of dynamic content in um, pods and uh, ACF and the others. Toolset, I'm thinking of toolset as well. Now, where this will become very interesting will be in upcoming videos when you start adding your advanced custom fields because then you can start creating your own metadata that you want to bring into it and you can style it all here before we are done here go to the container click on it and click then here on the posts little button you can add padding so it will increase the padding around the individual posts you can reduce the column so remember i had four posts so if i make the columns four you will see the four of them will appear. If I make them five, there will be five. But now, when I go and view them, you will see there will only appear four. The fifth one will be empty. And of course, that's really ugly. You can reduce it to two, and you can increase your columns to two. Make sure that you are connected to some taxonomy here. And if you don't know what the word taxonomy means, I'm going to explain that in the upcoming ACF video as well. Let's have a look then at this feature at this moment or how it looks at this moment. There you go. And then of course, because we put that dynamic URL in the button, which you can also go and style, like a read more, click on it and it will open your post. And then we showed in an earlier video how you can create your own dynamic single posts. So in the end, you can sort of avoid all of that. And the only thing you need to remember at this moment, there won't be a pagination or arrows to click through the different posts. You will have to decide by yourself how many do you want displayed. This is, I want to start using the phrase, the Brizzy way. Because I've been working in the last week or two with about six various page builders. And when it comes to post listing, they all work the same. And this one just, again, like, huh? what's going on it's broken and no it's not broken it's different and if you like the control and if you see the opportunities for stylization that you can do with this and adding advanced custom fields you're going to be crazy about this element this is jb with learn brizzy page builder it's been a long day and i think maybe i said the same thing a million times in this video or i didn't anyway see you in the next video and brizzy Keep rolling them out.